G'day mates, Home Slice here, and welcome back to Vampire. We are on to part 11 now, and we just failed the uh, surgical operation upstairs with uh, Dorothy. I'm standing downstairs because I tried doing the intro for this episode over and over, but she keeps talking these di same dialogue lines. So I came down here for a bit of peace and quiet. Uh, but that surgical operation, I did a little bit of research... And it didn't actually matter what choices we went for there. The guy was going to die anyway. Um, but she has a different reaction based on what we pick. So I went for cardiac massage when the correct option was the other one. Enepiphrine or something it was. Um, and I actually found out a, a fun little fact. Um, the cardiac massage is a real thing. But that hadn't actually been invented yet. Uh, and it's real today. So I thought that was uh, pretty cool when I was doing some uh, research into that. Um, but I think from now on, I, I won't like look into like what choices. Now, I haven't done this for like later on in the game. I have no idea what's going to happen in the future of the game. But I'm not going to like Google and reassure myself like if I made the right or wrong choices or something because that would sort of like defeat the purpose but I find it a bit shitty because the game is advertised as like oh yeah she keeps talking yeah the game's advertised as like oh choices matter and the choices I make will affect the ending of the game and stuff now I just don't feel like the guy dies anyway it doesn't matter what we pick. Maybe her reaction uh, is different. Uh, well, it is different, but maybe because we performed poorly in the surgery, she will think less of me, or it could affect a quest down the line. Uh, but yeah, I've talked for long enough, so let's talk to her. it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Okay, what are your details? Ah, yeah, we've got, um... All the options here. You can't carry on with this. This is illegal. I've come to stop the blackmail. I guess... What she is doing is illegal. She doesn't, like, have a business number or... She's not funded publicly. She's just sort of... Taking people in. I mean, she's got the right intentions by trying to help people, but uh, this doesn't feel like the right one to go for. Um, I mean, because we'd be like scolding her for trying to do the right thing uh, by helping people out with their diseases and stuff, but we don't know if she's the blackmailer yet, so I won't go for this one either. I'll go for this. Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. Oh, I... Did I miss something? Did we find out that she was the blackmailer? I don't think we've got any solid evidence. Um... Oh, yeah, I guess I've forgotten or I missed something. But, yeah, let's... Why target Lady Ashbury? Why not trust, trust Swansea? Swansea, I really like him, but I think he's, his over-enthusiasm makes him a little bit complacent. I think one of the characters actually said that. Um... Yeah, why, why would she target Lady Ashbury? But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Does she? Um, we don't have any evidence of that either, she didn't, like, admit to anything, but she would need blood somehow. Uh, I guess we'll need to find out more. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. 
He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. Are they all Romanian? I mean, surely there'd be some English-speaking people or people from other countries, right? That don't speak English or Romanian. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. I mean, are we, though? Uh, he seems like it. Like he had, like, a fine childhood or whatever, but... I mean, we don't even know a lot about Jonathan. We know he served in the war. We know that he's a doctor. We know that he's got generally pretty good intentions, but we know he's a good surgeon, uh, minus my mistakes in the last episode. Um, but that guy's going to die anyway. But, yeah, we don't really know much else about him. Unless, like I've said already, I've forgotten it or I've missed something. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Spare, I look away, but you resign. Charm, you will forget all about this. Embrace, I'm ending this right now, so I guess that's the vampiric option. Spare, I look away... But you resign. Well, why can't she continue doing this, but not blackmail people? What's stopping her? Is it does she need the money for like extra supplies or something? I mean, Ashbury said that the blackmailer, which is her, the demands went up and it was too much money. But she's taking on more patients. So maybe that's why the sum went up, like her blackmail request, but... Uh, I, I, I'm just leaning towards this blue option. Um, she, for Will it make her completely forget about the whole clinic, or just the blackmail? Like, I don't know. I'm definitely not killing her. That's definitely not an option. I look away, but you resign. Resign from nursing at the Pembroke? <sighs> I'm gonna go for the blue one. Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon... Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it go. Yes. Shit. That... All gone. That didn't exactly go how I would have liked it to. Uh, that wasn't very... That didn't seem very nice. And she's, like, full-on brainwashed now uh, by the look of that. It's oh, locked, all right. Yeah, we don't have the key for that. Oh, what's this? Is there a key in here? Oh, it looked like it was sort of flashing. And her gown is, like, bugging out, but... Shit, I'm not happy with that. Like, that seems like a shit choice, but... Oh, shit. Fuck, what's happened? What the hell? Are these... They just shot all these people dead? What are they doing this for? Well, let's kill them. Oh, stop that, you bastard. There we go, he's down. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna shit. Get some blood back. And we'll do that. Uh, some health back, I mean. Okay. Oh, that 
That was pretty easy. Fuck. Wait, people were in these beds before. Oh, they fell off the side. Okay. What the fuck? And... Just... Why? The... I thought they were vampire hunters. Like, exclusively. Do they just go around killing... People who have the disease as well? Like, what for? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Here they... This... Yeah, okay. I'll try avoid you. Let... Yep, 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 yep. I don't want to fight... I don't think those random guys will, um, have an impact here. But, oh, we had another hint for her, didn't we? Good evening. Did we? No? Okay. Well, let's trade. I'd like to see what... We're no definitely not buying your elixir. Do we have anything to sell? Uh, probably not, actually. Ferris already have the sodium, uh, potassium. I'm pretty sure. Wait, this, she actually charges more. They cost 18 shillings here. Well, I'm not buying from this place then. Let's head back to. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, he's dead. Um, yeah, we've got to go to the hospital here. So we just go out there. Okay, we'll 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 find the way. Uh, dead inside. Oh, we can... Okay, we just had the, uh, little loading screen there. I'm happy that we can come into this place. It was a, l a good surprise. Maybe this could be used as a hideout. Let's have a look around. Loot some stuff. What do we have here? Nothing else in those... Oh, I, I broke that thing by walking on... Oh, that's the exit. Uh, there's no stairs. Well, this is the last corner. What do we have in... Oh, we got this too. Small bottle, bottle and cigarette cases. There's so many cigarette cases back... Well, around here. All together. Oh, let's teleport. Dead inside. Yeah, there seems to be... Dead inside. Oh, a safe. Oh, yeah, new, new hideout. Cool. Ah, uh, we got a crafting bench. We got a bed. We got a bunch of, uh, refill. Got a bunch of things to use here, actually. Okay, there's two exits, but I want to use this first. Uh, craft cold, yes. Craft bronchitis. And pneumonia. Okay, I want one for fatigue. So many people seem to be fatigued. I'll go up to five. Hopefully, I need all of those. I'll go for two of those. Oh, I'm out of a few things now, so p more potassium. Uh, and upgrade time. Level three. We need two common handle parts. Can I break anything down to two common handle parts? No. None of those. Okay. Well, let's evolve now. And see what can we get. Hopefully some good stuff. I have a lot of experience. Okay, tactical. Spring. Damage upon landing. Defensive coagulation. You will block your target's blood in their vein, making them defenseless. That seems pretty good. Oh, ooh, ultimate. Rage. You lose control and the beast take over for a short time. The beast teleports itself to all enemies around you and strikes them with furious blows. Ah, oh, so it's like a shadow thing. Blood cauldron. To boil your target's blood, causing it to violently explode. Dealing damage to the target and anything nearby. Damn, those seem good, but you can now carry three serums, increase the number of bullets. No, oh, that doesn't really. Blood capacity... Increased blood absorption. Blood absorption still seems like really good. And so does just base health. But I definitely want to get one of these here. That, that costs 400 blood. That costs 600 shadow. I don't know what shadow is. I think I'm just going to go for this one. It costs 1,000. Cool. Next one's 2,000. 
and we'll bring the oh we need level 14 so won't bother going for that but uh yeah we'll go for more blood absorption another 20 percent increase oh this goes all the way up to 200 yeah 80 percent increase just as much as i can get in combat the, getting blood just seems really good but yeah let's confirm and hopefully the districts go up because I've cured a lot of people with their diseases and their fatigue. Disappearances in Whitechapel. Shit. Reports of mysterious disappearances have escalated in the past weeks. It has reached the point where witnesses have to queue before recounting their testimonies to an officer. Although this phenomenon appears to be a nationwide occurrence, the statements of the last 24 hours have converged around a single area in the country, Whitechapel. Yes, once more, the despised and loathed East End is left to struggle on its own, continuously overlooked by the authorities, even while numerous families from this district report the unexplained disappearance of relatives and neighbours. What has happened to these missing individuals? Where are they? The only link between them seems to be their health and their need for urgent medical attention. Until recently, it was a local secret that the only place to get help was a discreet dispensary managed by unidentified Good Samaritans. So Dorothy. But the place now seems to be closed and no one has any news from the, that facility. Did the missing persons go to a more secret place have they been discreetly moved to a more official service one day soon the london city council's board of health will have to answer for this new mystery god i really feel like i picked the wrong one there um but it was actually those fanatic guys the pre one that came in and just killed people oh, please don't go down to any more i mean I, that guy has a cold that guy has a migraine that guy has fatigue like we've done a pretty good job with like healing the people here um but there seems to be so many problems still major event your choice concerning the community pillar have has been reported by the press shit i definitely made the wrong choice then fucking hell that's still stable this is yeah i cured a lot of people like i said it's so it's went up to healthy wow that's good yeah i've impacted the economy oh that's why the prices went up in whitechapel because shit was getting bad this is probably went down i haven't oh it didn't change the docks yeah i haven't been here in a while i don't actually oh yeah that that's the guy at the the pub oh, this place oh, even though this guy's a fucking wanker I'm still going to give him something, and I'll give these guys that. Cold, fatigue, so I need two two colds, one fatigue, and anema. Well, I have everything. Um, I don't have the headache one yet. I haven't actually found where to unlock that. So that's a priority. I'm, I'm guessing that'll just come naturally with, like, leveling up. Uh, we'll just making progress th through the game um, and we'll like find a blueprint for it eventually but yeah let's uh, leave this place now and go back to the hospital oh I was prepared for a loading screen there that's why I sort of had like a, a, a closing statement but seems we've got a few enemies to deal with here stun Oh, that was a... Oh, I'm going to test my ultimate. Wait, I can't use it for 40 seconds. Wait, this was stunning them like what the ultimate does. Oh, shit. Are you fine? Oh, holy moly. Don't attack me when I'm down. Oh, shit. I, I can, yeah, I can get you. I can get you. Two. Oh, holy crap. We only just got him. Okay, easy, easy. Yeah, we're good. Wow, look at that blood absorption. I only needed to... 
I drained his blood there, and I got so much back. We got a note. Blood as addiction. Vampires drink blood. This may be their most specific trait, the sinister peculiarity of their condition, if I may say so. But for me, this is not the most important characteristic of their diet. What has always fascinated me since I started to study them is the imperative need for blood they seem to endure. They want it more than anything, and this desire can drive them to expose themselves. And when they drink it, they seem to feel some sort of short trance. An ecstatic epiphany, said to me once of Volkot I interviewed in Moscow. I'm convinced that this is an essential element to understand the nature and condition of the vampires. They don't drink blood because it sustains them, but that it offers them ecstasy. Vampires are addicted to blood, all of them. It is part of their nature, and those among the immortals who refuse to submit to their appetite by the strength of their will only are never freed from this addiction. Yeah, uh, when we were in the operating room, Jonathan, he almost lost himself uh, with the guy because there was so much blood right next to him. And I'm glad that he was able to sustain himself. But yeah, we're, now we've got the loading screen. Okay, loading screen over. Let's get back on the move. Ah, it's this place. I guess it was locked from the inside, so we can use that as a hideout now. And yeah, I remember this bridge here. We had like the big fight with some of the guys here. And they were bloody hard. I got like one shot, killed in one shot by one of them. But yeah, let's keep moving now. Hopefully we don't run into Human trouble. Blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Shit, yeah, something's happened here. Oh, we Hit can... It, boy! Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, okay, boss. Oh, you hurt. Okay, I'm gonna, like, run down into the middle here. And try to get, like, a thing off with my ultimate. Oh, this is... Oh, wow, I, like, teleport to all of them. That didn't actually cost blood. Wow, he was... Almost got killed. Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of... Oh, damn it. Let's use that. Easy. Fuck. Stop doing that. There we go. Oh, dodge. Fuck. See, I hate the lock-on camera for combat. Yeah, good. Die. There we go. Ah, oh, we're down to two, I believe. So, I'll tr get more blood. Oh, please. Oh, he resisted. Gonna heal. There we go. He's almost down. Ah, oh, I missed. I went for the wrong one. Well, missed the one I wanted to hit. Please. There we go. And I, I hit all three there. That was good. Alright, this last motherfucker over here. Ain't shooting these arrows at me. There we go. He should be easy. Well, yeah, he takes a lot of damage. All he's got is his uh, crossbow. No, there's more. There's more. Fuck. Damn it. I wanted to finish them before taking more damage. So we'll heal up to full. Oh, please. And we'll get his blood. Yeah, you do your little fucking fire attack. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, seems he has no loot. There we go. Grease. Oh, I, I tapped F to loot. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like they killed rats or something to try and... I wonder if it was to lure me. Do they have inside information on me, maybe? Um, yeah, it looks like they stabbed a rat and, like, dragged it along here intentionally, just like Jonathan said. Oh, well, let's, uh, keep going. Loot this. Pretty sure this is the right way. Yep, well, it's one way back. That guy over there is still screaming, even though I've killed him already. Well, once before, at least. Oh, we're almost back here. We gotta talk to Lady Ashbury, don't we? Oh, yep, okay. It says it on the right side there. Okay, well, she's only just over here. So I guess medical stuff is cheaper now. But, oh, God, I really feel like I went for the wrong one with Dorothy there, which really sucks. Because I quite like Dorothy. Ooh, why are there... Is she get feeding? <gasps> you fucker. It, she was right then. Dorothy was right. He's dead now, isn't he? I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. I know it. She... She tried to play on that she was all nice. And I had that suspicion in the back of my mind that she... The reason she's caring... Yeah, compassion only hides your appetite. That's exactly what I was thinking. He trusted you. In the end, you're a killer. Which one? Oh, fuck. This is tough. Th this is tough. This is really tough. Oh. See, how can I say that she seems to care for people in the community? And for the health of the patients and that. But then she goes... Like, I can't defend that. I, I can't... I can't. That... Oh, God, these choices. What prevails in the end, I wonder? The desire for blood? Or to be of service to man? Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. So the accusation was true. So in the end, the accusation was true, wasn't it? The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmail. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady. The blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Yeah, good. Thank you, Jonathan. I was going to say, that if I have exactly the, what I needed from the choice, I don't want to tell you her. You've proven your loyalty, so, as a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. What? Thank you, my lady. I don't want to be friends. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. I, I don't want to be friends after witnessing that. She mur just murdered someone. And she's acting like nothing happened. But I'm guessing, you know, we're going to be forced down this path of, like, interacting with her. Uh, I d and I do want to know this stuff here, but... So let's ask. Uh, what happened to London? Oh, how many vampires? Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed. And we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Will they all be friendly? I doubt it. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, 
Even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. <sighs> Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. ...to let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Yeah, how didn't we die? I mean... It seems inconsistent when some people are bitten by a vampire, like Jonathan's sister... ...they die, and this guy... But how come we survived? Did he, like, not drain us completely? Because, you know, but vampires regenerate. So if, even if you did get drained completely, wouldn't all the blood just, like, quickly make itself back? Just like how red blood cells do that, but just a lot faster. Like Wolverine, you would just heal straight away. Like, and what's the story with this guy? Was he already dead, or... Did she murder him? Like, I didn't actually see, but... And J Jonathan's still like, Oh, my lady this, my lady that. Like, I don't want... If I have the options, I'm not going to, like, associate with her. <sighs> what happened to London? I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu course, I reckon more. It's more... it's not as simple as that. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. Like what? There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here, in the city. Don't know what that means. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. <sighs> okay. I met some vampire hunters. Yeah, they're insane. When I awoke, changed. I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain. More than likely, it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. Oh, it's pronounced Prewin? Okay then. <laughs> well, I've been saying Prewin all this time. Awkward. Is it a cult? It sure seems like it. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones. A secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Okay. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. Yeah, I, I want to avoid combat as much as I can, if that's what she means. Yeah, let's ask about her. Swansea allows you to kill. Yeah, there's no way he would allow that if he knew, right? Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. Do you know his brotherhood? No one suspects you. <sighs> Even if he's, like, on his deathbed, I still don't see it as right. Like, a dying person. Unless unless they want to die, or they're just in extreme pain all the time. I just can't support it. And no one suspected you of the murders. As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me. Of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. 
I take no pleasure in taking a life. <sighs> what do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. Okay. How old are you? Probably a few hundred? I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. This is not all the truth. Yeah, that's right. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. Why why can't you tell us how like how actually old you are? Like 300, 400, whatever. Why would that mean so much? And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. Okay. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William didn't... Cr no, it wasn't him. No way it was him. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanour... Scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. Yeah, they're ferals. How come some go feral, but people like Jonathan don't? Is it just like they're the will? Like they're strong people or weak people? Or does something go wrong when vampires are biting? What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. Yeah. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. So we were bitten by like a high vampire then, like an ancient or a real high up one. And I wonder, would we be considered ancient or would we make people skulls? Well, not ancient, but like a powerful vampire, like she just said. Um, I wonder if like everyone in Jonathan's class or her class are considered high vampires and they wouldn't make people feral so I have so many questions voice in my head why was I left for dead am I a vampire well clearly a vampire is that what I am what we are such a crude word defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. What's an Ekon? So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires, but all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... But a branch of the immortal tree. So, Ekons are like... They're not skulls. They're not feral and just kill people. But they're not like master vampires or high vampires. They're sort of like the middle class, maybe. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. Okay, voices in my head. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. I... No, she's not. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution. And I'm no fool. 
Yeah, in the little cut scene at the very start of the game, the vampire that was standing behind Jonathan was clearly a man, like by his stature and whatnot. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Okay, so they're called elders. So we're not elders. I wonder if that's an age thing, or... We're just Ekons for life. I don't know. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. Could it be a mistake, how a vamp... Yes. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. So we drunk his blood? <sighs> like I've said already, I have so many questions. These questions are spawning like five, ten questions at a time each. It's crazy, there's so much information. So me being a vampire, could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. Yeah, figured that much. Um, it, it maybe it could have been a mistake, but like she said, I doubt it. It, it was intentional by the guy who did it, but I bid you farewell <sighs> for now. Friend. Yeah, I bid you farewell, murderer. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Okay, well, we will uh, analyze that blood in the next episode. This one's went on for a fair while. Um, but yeah, uh, so I still have so many questions. Uh, and I really want to... I hope they all get answered uh, by the end of the game, or soon at least. Because, yeah, I have so many, and I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, but yeah, I'll end it here. Peace in the Middle East, and may all your games be good ones.